the struggle to lose weight up and down you know the old yo-yo syndrome in our quest to lose weight most have either heard it all or believe they've tried it all our next segment is part two in our six part new year new year series and it's a fresh approach to an age-old struggle losing excess fat and excess weight. Here to shed some light and ultimately we hope some pounds is health and fitness advisor Ty Jackson. Also joining us Kristen Marzelli whose own weight loss story is one truly worth sharing. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right Ty, as a fitness expert what's the biggest challenge you think women face when trying to lose weight? Um, well, I run a weight loss support group on Facebook and there's about 15,000 people in there and 98% of them are women. And so I get to hear a lot of uh, things on a daily basis. And what we see most women struggle with is not having the time that they feel is, is required to work out. And I'm gonna tell you what, that, that's hard because we're balancing so much because we're either in relationships or married, have kids, we work, we're balancing a household. I mean, there's so much going on. And I know for you, Kristen, I know that's true. What I also know is true is we've seen the before and after pictures. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Congratulations, 44 pounds, right? 44, that's correct. Wow. You've got an incredible success story to go along with that. Tell us what happened. My story's a little different than most. I was not always overweight. Um, but after my fourth child and I had complications following a c-section, I had a hysterectomy at the age of 32, mm -hmm. um, several surgeries, I had damage to my liver, my thyroid, um, I packed on the pounds, I gained a lot of weight, something I was not used to. Um, I had overheard someone say, wow, she really got fat, that hit home, that was my lowest point ever. Um, and I decided I needed to do something and that's when I was introduced to skinny fiber and after starting Skinny Fiber, I lost 44 pounds. I went from a size 16 dress to a size 8. Congratulations. So I, it is still a work in progress, but. No, but you look amazing. And one of the things you're telling our producer is you lost most of your weight, you would say here, this, yes, this section. Most, I'm only five foot two, right. so a lot of the extra weight I carried was through the middle section, mm -hmm. where a lot of women struggle with in their belly um, and hip area. So a lot of my weight um, was lost in that area. That's absolutely amazing. And I know that your weight loss success has resulted, I guess, at least in part from online coaching, which is what you say you do best. And so, I mean, one of the things I wanna know is why is it so important to have that support group in a system like this one, rather than just maybe trying to go it alone? A lot of people that are trying to lose weight this isn't their first go round. They've tried other things in the past. And so what we find a lot of times is their spouses or their family or their friends are not as supportive. And that's what they need. They need that support. They need someone to just say, you know, good job or you can do it or way to go. And that's what we really focus on in our weight loss support groups, just kind of empowering them until they believe in themselves again. Kristen, along those same lines, was there any, maybe one part of the program that stands out that may have personally worked best for you? With Skinny Fiber, what I enjoyed is that I could eat real food. I was able to eat the same meal that I could eat with my family. I didn't have to make two separate meals. And I was able to connect with the people in support groups. Mm -hmm. They were there for support. They were there to um, give me tips when I thought that I was maybe doing something that really was not benefiting me. I was able to ask other people for their advice. Now with this, what would you take this like? Is it three times a day or? I took it two pills, 30 yeah. minutes before my two largest meals, uh -huh. usually lunch and dinner. Sometimes I would take it three times a day, just depending a little bit on my appetite. If I felt like I um, was a little bit more hungry that day, I would do it three times a day. Tell me about energy levels. Did you find that maybe taking these supplements improved your energy level as well? Oh, as I was losing weight, um, my energy levels went up. I used to nap, I was sluggish, I stayed in the house. Um, I didn't do a lot. Sometimes my husband would do activities with the kids and I stayed away from those activities. Now I'm out doing the things with my children and my family that I wanted to do. For those of you who may have tuned in late, summarize for us the things that you think separate skinny body, skinny fiber from other weight loss programs out there. Well, a lot of the weight loss programs that are out there require people to do things um, such as restrict calories to a point where it may not be healthy or to do workout programs that might be too vigorous for a person's body. Or some might even go into having people take pills that kind of trick the body into losing weight or other, other supplements that trick the body into losing weight. And so 
with skinny fiber, it's 100% all natural. It doesn't trick your body into doing anything. It gets it into a healthy form, a healthy state to where you can actually start to release that weight and keep it off. And keep it off, and, and I think that's the off. key, keeping it off. Where can our viewers find these products? We set up a special website strictly for this show, your viewers, and it's www.skinnyfiberontv.com. Well, we're so thankful that you're on our TV this morning sharing your story, Kristen and Ty. Looking forward to our next segment. And for that skinnier, more attractive body that you may want or be looking for, visit us at thebalancingact.com to find out more about today's topic. Oh, and as always, get social, log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans to share your biggest weight loss challenges.